Oh, we should probably talk to the dude with the axe. Uh, let's go... I'd say let's go do that first, but we should probably go get the, uh, the shrinker first. Let's, let's see what this guy wants. Hello, Ada! This town is perfect for, uh, the perfect spot for me to hang up my blade for a while. It's tough work defending the creatures of Ge Geodia. You look like you're faring well, though. Give the Baron's Gremlins a wallet for me. Feels the location of Gremlin Furnaces on the world map. Hey, That's actually exactly what I was looking for. But let's see, you're gonna have to pick this up. It's just too pretty uh, to not get in play. It's super good. Like, I, I'm not kidding when I say this was one of the games that I was most looking forward to this year. And it has not disappointed yet. I think I wish there was a little bit more uh, variety on the patches that had, like, neat effects. But, eh, we'll see when we get there. It's also one of those that this does seem to be a relatively... Oh, hey, that got me two, two tables. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just get these for the time being. So we get the Shrinkinator, and now we get the Spark Slinger. So now I got a ranged attack. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but still. Let's see, is this game fun or is it super grindy? It's not so grindy so far. Like... I've had to do... Well, okay. So you don't really do grinding runs. What you do is you effectively wander the world until you find what you're looking for. Uh, and then you attempt it. Win or lose, you go back. I'd say it's like Rogue Legacy. But Rogue Legacy, hey. Uh, that is actually a really convenient map. Probably want to do the furnace. Uh, can't do the dungeon again. I have no idea if that cave's there, so let's go double-check that. But, like, grinding just kind of happens as you go along. Usually because you're underpowered. Ow. I deserve that. I was hoping I'd hit him a little bit more. Uh. But it is yet to feel like I need to go on a grinding trip just to get whatever. And it's very generous with rewards. Let's see. Completely irrelevant topic. Heard New Brunswick is nice. Dude, New Brunswick is like one of my favorite places to go vacationing. One other thing I like about this game, I can kind of be on top on topic and off topic for a while. It's just simple enough that I can just kind of relax and just let uh, let my hands do the gameplay. Uh and not have to be like, oh shit, I need to do this thing or like whatnot. What was I? What was I playing? Is that? God damn it! I keep Prometheusing it, and it's bad. Uh, but like, if I don't want to focus on the game, I can just talk about other stuff, and I like that. A lot of games don't have that, and that's a bit of a shame. Anyway, I used to live uh, in Boston, and. There were a lot of places to go vacationing, but we always would go up to, to Canada specifically just because it was quieter. You know, most people would go to Prince Edward Island over uh, New Brunswick or Nova Scotia or anything like that. Unless I'm like completely mis misjudging where, where we've gone. It has been a number of years. But at some point, I'll probably actually just take Shell on a vacation up there again. There's some sweet stuff. Nothing, like, exciting, but great if you want to just have a vacation to just disconnect and relax. As far as I'm concerned, Banff is nice. I've never been to Banff, nor would I know where, where that one is. I've only spent so much time in Canada. If I ever move back east, I might see if I can live in Toronto for a couple of years. But I don't know what the, uh... I don't really know what the requirements are for living in Canada versus the U.S. and whatnot. I know there's also Vancouver that's really close to me, but, I mean, it's too close, maybe? Because I can just drive up there. It would take, like, four years. If yeah, Vancouver is more expensive... I think I looked at the uh, property values for Vancouver versus Portland and Seattle, and it seemed like it was about the same price.
I know as I get older, moving up to Canada would be tempting just for... Well, yeah, especially if we have kids. Universal healthcare would be very nice. It's like, I pay for my own insurance, and it is not worth it. It is way too expensive and not nearly rewarding, rewarding enough. Uh, let's see. Nope, nothing else in here. I'm just checking out these kind of side side zones for a bit. Just show you around if you come uh, come to Canada. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, one of Shell and my like first official vacations together that wasn't like motivated by our, our families was to actually just go up to Toronto for a week. Uh, it stayed in a actually fairly nice hotel, which I don't think I do again just because expensive. But it was like a nice suite. Got to go see uh, Cirque du Soleil because they had a they had the Avatar show running at the time, and that was lovely. It wasn't exciting, but I don't I don't really need like exciting trips. But I think in the near future we're probably going to be going down to LA more than anything else. Shell really wants to pick up. Uh, I don't know how many people have gone to Disneyland or Disney World, uh, but specifically the Star Wars stuff has, uh, like, uh, create your own lightsaber kind of dealio, and Shell is an absolute Star Wars nut, and so we're probably going to make a trip down and and, ow. I wish caves like this wouldn't show back up again, if you've already looted them, because why, why even have that tile? There's no point to it. You know, replace it with a mid-boss or something, and, uh, and have me fight for loot instead. The new Star Wars town in Disneyland is awesome. Yeah! That's what I'm hoping it'll be. I haven't been back to Disneyland since... 2003? 2004? No, it was earlier than that. I don't think... It must have been 2002 or 2003 that I moved out of California. It's a lovely state. And it was fun, it was fun visiting. Well, it was fun living there for a while. And like, I kind of miss having access to a couple of those things. Never went to LA. Nor do I have a whole lot of compunction to spend much time there. The city is just too big. As smaller towns in Ontario is a lot cheaper and internet's good. How good are we talking when you say internet is good? Because that's my issue. Because I, I got a gigabit up and down, which is amazing for uh, for doing my job. And it'd be really hard to move away from that. Like I would if I had, had to, or if there's something else, but still. Bap, snap. I gotta say, hitting those dudes with the shield does not leave a satisf satisfying, like, feeling. It's just donk, donk, donk. But that, it makes perfect sense why. Oh, I should try using my pistol here. Oh, it's too late now. Oh, I guess it's a little crossbow. It's ten times your connection. 100 up, 100 down ain't bad, honestly. Like, not... Uh, I don't mean to deride. I'm just glad I'm not back on my old parents' internet. When I first started streaming, I was, uh, when I first started streaming, my internet was five megs up and down, and that's what they still have. And boy, I do not miss those days. But there were certain days where the internet just was not good enough, and I just couldn't do anything. Yeah, it sucks. Yup! I made it work! And most people didn't notice or care, but I did. A lot. I cared a lot, and it sucks. But, that was the only thing available, at least in that part of the US for a while.
truly universal like gigabit internet is an absolute must. I don't I don't know. Why we haven't well I mean I realize infrastructure is kinda hard for that sort of thing. Ooh, healing items. That's really good. Yeah, fiber for all would be lovely. Like I know Elon Musk is probably full of hot air, but his whole like gigabit satellite thing would be pretty nice. I don't think I'd specifically use it unless I was traveling a lot. But that would be so nice for the rest of the world. Because straight up, like, the internet has been amazing, I believe, for literacy and education. But even if you don't get a, a full school education, uh, just being on the internet for a while is... I'm not going to say is approximately as good. Oh, they can hit each other. I've never tested that before, but that was that was clear proof. They can friendly fire, they just don't do it very often. Got 100 down and 10, uh, 10 up. Yeah, and that's probably fine for most people, but if you're looking at it, uh, to get into streaming, you need a little bit more than that. I mean, you're fine with it, and that's fine for streaming, but it, it's painful. Like, I can put up a half hour to an hour long episode on YouTube in, jeez, maybe a couple of minutes. Makes it really easy to put up, like, ten videos a day, because I don't have to upload overnight anymore. Would you believe I started my YouTube channel on dial-up? That was fun. It wasn't actually dial-up, but it was dial-up speeds. Like, I think, it, I think it was capping out at 56k at the best of days, which is... That's pain. There's a reason why I only put up a couple of videos a day back then. And then I found out that my workplace had gigabit, and so I would, uh... I would bring a flash drive with all of my videos for the week and upload on, like, Mondays. That was nice. Okay, uh... Let's see. What? What was that? It just... What? Okay, methinks I found a bug. Bombot is scared, is scared of the rock. Bombot's scared of existing. I'm just gonna point blank blast these things from now on. I think it can't handle the ledges. Oh, that makes sense actually. Uh, because pigs can't either. I, I noticed they would they would bounce off of them instead of falling down. And so yeah, it probably has like an invisible hitbox. Actually makes perfect sense. here. At this point, we might as well head for the woods. I was hoping to get a little bit more HP. But we do have the healing items, so I guess that's kind of a plus. Plus, we can always go for the micro dungeon. I think? Did I not? Oh, I did put the thing on. It's supposed to reveal them on the map. Oh, and it did. Now, here's the question. No HP carries over uh, between, like, coming and going. That's a nice feature. Not a whole lot of games have that, where it's just like, yep, you've been here, and, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back, just hit the tree. But yeah, it, you, uh, you were already fighting this creature. It's still injured from the last time you hit it. Like, sure, that might be a little abusable, but, like, no game does that, from what I know, that does, hey, there we go, some more healing items. I might actually have a solid shot at the boss, assuming I make it there. Which, I mean, bit of a big if, but that's okay. I'm just glad it don't take uh, splash damage from blasting that. That would be suck. Okay, so what do we got in here? 
Uh, hi. Uh, what? Oh, no. I think I found another bug. I don't think that crystal's supposed to be act activated. But you know what? I look at that gift horse in the mouth. Puzzle denied. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Almost done. I'd like to mostly focus on new zones, but like, this, this area still pays out pretty well, so it's kind of worth sticking around. I should probably make some kind of bucket list for other places in the west coast to go to over here. I also want to go down to like the Sequoias, Redwoods, Yellowstone, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, kind of the things people do if they don't want to go to like Vegas. Because I have zero inclination to go to Vegas again. That city creeps me out. What the? Huh. I think he's just invincible. Or, no, I'm stupid. He's got a shield generator. I... Selective blindness. Don't even... Shush. Okay. Keep going this way. I've still got plenty of healing items. And a lot of money. Wow. Wait, I've made like 650 just by exploring the uh this area. All right, I guess it I guess it is worth sticking around this this zone. I was originally kind of poo-pooing it because it wasn't that worthwhile, but no, it it it's pretty worthwhile. Ow, what? I was trying to hit it, but I guess it must have risen above the uh, the environment. All right, whatever. Uh, this is a good time to pop a couple of heals. Let's just do two. Let's see. Nope. That's the button. Okay. I still got four healing items. Uh, I guess I'm heading over here. Like I said, for the most part, I'm just going to avoid fighting bees unless I have to. If there's something there. Humorously enough, there's actually a bee right there on the side of the screen. I might be able to try fighting it without leaving. Nope. The sprite is there, but I think it itself is paused. See, those guys, those guys are fun to fight. They take no effort, and they reward plenty. I guess let's go this way. I don't necessarily know the best way to go. But I will go. Goodbye, bee. We. And we are good. Yeah, if I get the hits correct, I can bully the bees into non-existence. The problem is the risk that exists is just a little bit much. The fact that there's no contact damage in this game makes such a difference. Oh, it feels so good. I don't know, there, there's some roguelikes and metroidvanias that I've played recently with just absolutely miserable contact damage. 
And so, I was really afraid that this would have the same problems. Oops. Don't leave that behind. Okay. Bonk him. That was not the right button. But he is dead. So we get some health from the final chest. Oh, it's shit. It's this guy again. Okay, so the gun... Ow. Ow! Wow! Okay. <gasps> Almost didn't make it. How much HP does this asshole have? That didn't work. Got him. Holy crap. He hurts. Freaking Chumbus Ginormous. Well, at least he gives me one of the really good items. Can't wait until we get the higher tier version of that. No health from that, though. Bit of a shame. Alright, whatever. Yeah, he was... He was a bit... He was a bit extra beefy. Like, I would almost posit that that guy was deserving of a health bar. For the most part, I don't really need them in games. But, like, there was no indication that I was even taking him down. Perfect, he got stuck. Love him when that happens. Alright. Come here, fool. Fight me. Die by my hand. At least we're coming out of here with a lot of spark light. Which is kind of nice. Okay, up and over. Farewell, B. I still think a charge hit is probably the best way to deal with this guy. Then again, I've never gotten hit by him, so maybe my caution is unwarranted. Okay, and the bee, the bees are actually super, super vulnerable to that, which is nice. Well, this was a giant big dead end. Ow. Note to self. This is the other variety of enemies. This is the kind that can actually shoot back. Found the boss. On the plus side, this guy does not have nearly as much HP as the other jerk. And I get to heal up to full after this. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. Okay, full health. And I'm not... Now, one second. <laughs> ah. I have no idea how that sounds. I'm putting my hand in front of the microphone, so I'm assuming it's not... It's not super bad. Ow. I knew that was coming, and I did nothing to stop it. Okay, let's just heal up.
Okay, got that. Uh, I'm playing a little risky here. Well, on the one plus side... Nope, shit! I learned how to do this, but that doesn't mean I know how to do it well. I'm also trying to use the gun. I always kind of wish this game had, like, just a light lock-on. Oh, that was a little longer range than I was banking on it being. Yeah, it's always that second hit. I'm not... I'm not super confident in my ability to avoid that that second hit with the log. I mean, I'm making progress here. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to... Uh... Oh, that was close. I don't think it's worth it going for the charged hit. Unless it's maybe the first hit. Oops. That was bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I was greedier than I should have been. And I had a big old smudge on my glasses. Did that to myself right as I was sneezing as we started the boss fight. Guess I could have paused to avoid that, but still. Oh, well. Oh, man. Lady, you got to work on your selection here. This is weak stuff. Oh, you know what? It's probably weak stuff, because they don't want me over-upgrading here. Okay, well, let's lose a health for another defense patch. <sighs> well, I have a whole lot of money, so on the plus side, that's good. Uh, let's see. Do we upgrade this guy? I've certainly not been grabbing enough of these. Unlock more powerful widgets. We keep upgrading him? Yeah, let's just keep upgrading him. And we've maxed it out. Huh. Hopefully there's more to this town that I can build up to. It could be lovely if you could actually upgrade... Oh. Nope, never mind. That was more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to think of what there would be. Just... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Either way, my fingers are starting to get a little sore, so I might actually uh, switch at this point. Because I'm having a lot of fun, but uh, that, that boss is going to be a bit of a wall, and it seems like it would be easier if I just came back to it fresh. So that's exactly what I'm going to do.